Here are five tips and strategies for utilizing eBay to its full potential to make sure you get the best cost on your used camera and camera accessories. Let's dive right into number one, which is doing quality research. I just bought this camera for $89 on eBay. So let's take a look at the Sony NEX5. So some of the first results that we'll get are actually sponsored results. And these are sellers who want to push their items at the top of the feed. And we're gonna not look at those because those aren't the best example. What we're gonna first do for our research is scroll down here to sold items. And when you click sold items, it'll also check completed items. And this is showing only these types of items. When you click this, you'll be able to see items that were actually sold to buyers. And if we scroll down here, we can tell these numbers are not in that $180 price point. They're actually a lot lower, 105, 125, $49, $89, 81, 99, 85. So you can see if you're just patient and you do your research and, and you play the, this kind of timing game, right? You don't have to pay a premium price for a used camera. You can actually get them, like this one fascinates me right here, $49 that someone picked up this camera for. I thought $89 was a steal. This came with no battery and no lens as well. And this person almost got it for half the cost at $49. So be patient, do some research about what your camera is actually selling for before you make a purchase. This $49 one that sold brings me to my second tip, which is look for cameras that don't actually come with a bunch of additional accessories. You can save yourself a lot of money by um, intentionally going for cameras that aren't sold with a lens or a kit lens, are not sold with a battery. And in these 13 year old cameras, it's maybe not even the best thing to purchase a 13 year old camera battery. You can actually purchase an aftermarket battery really cheaply on Amazon and get a pack of three for like $30. So you'll save yourself that $30 by purchasing one that doesn't come with a battery or accessories. And then you can purchase more qual high quality accessories that are more up to date in 2023, 2024. Tip three is to kind of give you peace of mind knowing that the camera you're purchasing really does work. And this is looking for listings that have a video uploaded uh, in the listing description. This NEX5 is being sold for $99, but it has this cool feature where you can actually click this video that the seller uploaded. And you see the seller walk through uh, the camera from all points of view. The seller even turns the camera on so you can ensure that the camera is functional and that all of the buttons actually work. One of the benefits of purchasing from Facebook Marketplace are you can, um, in that in-person transaction, you can make sure that the camera actually functions and works. Um, here on eBay, it's a little bit harder to do that until you receive the camera, but one of the ways you can get a little more peace of mind before you make your purchase is if a seller uploaded a video. So be sure to look for those listings that actually have video uploads in that description. Our fourth tip is actually a pretty underutilized feature on eBay, which is the contact seller feature. On any given listing, you have the option to contact your seller about the listing you're looking into. So here I've actually pulled up a used A7 III. If I wanna click this contact seller button, it's gonna give me a few options that are sort of some preset um, things. I don't wanna deal with those. I wanna contact the seller directly. So I'm gonna click that button. And right here is where I can write a 2000 word description or question um, to gain more information about the, the item that I'm trying to purchase. And I can also upload photos, which is an interesting feature. Um, if you're wanting to like compare different photos or, or explain something, this is actually a pretty useful tool. And if you are trying to sell a camera, this is a really useful feature as well because you can upload sellers and send them directly to people who are watching your listing or if people have questions and want additional images you can use this feature to correspond on ebay and have more of a kind of like a facebook marketplace interaction how you can go back and forth between sellers this is a great feature and i've actually utilized it on several ebay purchases in the past from both a seller and a buyer standpoint and my final tip is to not be turned off by a seller who might have a little bit of a longer wait time for you to receive the the items. So that would be maybe their processing time is several days, maybe three to seven days, not just one day. And their shipping time might be two to three to four weeks out. So it might be a month until you receive your item, but you're actually going to save yourself quite a high percentage by doing it that way. If you're in the United States and you're trying to purchase a camera, say from Japan, in this instance, this Sony A5000 is shipping from Japan outside the US. Um, and we only have a four business day handling time. And that camera will arrive to us in about two to three weeks um, from the date of recording this video. Often with these longer shipping times, sellers 
also offer um, an extended return window. So this seller offers a 60 day return window. This all comes down to uh, just the ability to have patience and some delayed gratification there and know that your item will come in. You'll be able to get it in about a month. And once it comes in, you can have the peace of mind knowing one, you did not pay for shipping. Most of these lead times that are really long have free shipping. So you didn't have to spend an extra 20, $30 there, which significantly brings down the overall percentage that you spent on the item and usually have at least seven to 14 business days uh, to be able to return that item if you feel like that item is not what you paid for. Thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. I know it was a quick one, but I think it's important um, as uh, us as creatives are trying to help each other uh, just enter into the creative space. You need camera bodies, you need lenses, and eBay is a great place to get used lenses and cameras from people who just don't use them anymore. So here are some tips and best practices when purchasing on eBay. So make sure to use these, save these, share this with a friend who might be um, in need of some of these resources or tips. I have a ton more videos on this channel. Feel free to check those out right here, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Much love.